Stop! Don't throw out those old level orb lines. Upcycle them into beautiful wind chimes. The how-to's coming right up. Hi, it's Marcy. Welcome back. I'm cleaning out my shed again, and it's about time that I do something with these level orb lines. I had to think of something really creative, and I came up with actually a few things. One of them I'm gonna share with you today, and it's a beautiful wind chime. So let's save these blinds from ending up in a landfill and go back to my studio and create something magical and special. For our wind chime project today, what you'll need, level door blinds, that's what we're upcycling to make our wind chime, glue gun or some type of glue, I have monofilament line, a clamp, some scissors, sandpaper, some beads, an assortment of beads, as well as some chimes. Now, these are really cute. I really like these, but um, of course, they're not gonna bring home the cows, but we're not looking for that in our wind chime. And if you are, these aren't the chimes for you. You'll have to get something different. But this is kind of like the Costco value size that I got on Amazon, and I really enjoy that. That's pretty nice, and it was very reasonable. I'll leave the link below in the description. And the other thing you're gonna need is um, paint. If you want to paint your wind chimes, do so, and you can spray paint it or what I'm using today are Sharpies. I'm using, I'm going to go with a black and white tribal scheme and I'll show you that later on towards the end. But whatever you do for painting, I would definitely use some type of UV protectant because it's definitely going to allow you to have your work last longer outside. Let's dive into our project. I'm so excited to share this with you. All right, this banner piece, which is the top part of the structure is five inches in length. You can make these any dimensions that you want. So I'm taking the two inches, I'm gonna cut this in half. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do double of each one. Take this one, lay it against here. If you have any rough edges on your plastic or the just get that roughness off. Okay, so that's our headpiece right here. And then this is gonna be our longest piece in the center. That kind of looks like it needs to be a little sanding too. All right. Okay. And then we'll continue with the rest of the structure. And as I said, you can make them whatever dimensions you want. And I'm pretty much gonna cut all of them in half just to have something that looks the same. Okay, it's gonna go up here. We're gonna stagnate them so they're not all bunching together. And that's gonna look very, very pretty. That's gonna be here. And one more piece. there, here, and here. Okay, I think I'm happy with this now. Now it's probably difficult to see this, but this is the monofilament line, and I actually am going to cut this to about um, probably 24 inch strands. want to cut too much because that would be rather wasteful but just cutting what we need all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay these out underneath here like so okay
want to do is also put a little bit of Gorilla Glue there so that this stays shut. Just a little bit, not too bad, no, not too much. And then we're going to put this on top, like so. All right, let's continue. Put that up there. Okay. I'm gonna create like a tribal look. Like do some, I guess one would call it doodling or something like that, but I like to look at it as art, right? And it's gonna be like all kind of tribal things. So I'm gonna just with the Sharpie marker. You know what, this isn't even a really sharp, sharp tip because I've used it a few times before, so it's gonna be not too pointy for me. The Sharpie markers tend to, whoopsie, they tend to um, get a little frazzled at the end. I'm really loving this. And together with this up here, oh my goodness gracious, that is going to be beautiful. The other thing I was thinking is that the beads would look absolutely fabulous dyed in like an espresso brown, or you can take coffee and uh, dunk it in coffee and leave them there overnight and then seal them. That would be really beautiful against the black and white. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our medallion. I'm gonna take this off because I really don't want this little point to be on there. I don't need that. I think I might paint this also. Now, if you don't have a medallion, I've had this forever in my stash. If you don't have something like this, feel free to use something like sea glass. I mean, sea glass would be awesome on this. Um, and also in place of, for example, if you don't have beads, again, I've had these beads for a long time. You can use, I cut up some cork here so you could see this. Um, you could actually take the cork and put it in place of beads, or you could use them in conjunction with beads. That would be really super cool and just put a hole in there and string them like you would normally a bead. There's a lot of options. I mean, even right here, I could have put a bead right here, for example, that would have been neat. Uh, there's so many things that you can do with things that you already own. You could just reclaim some different materials within your home even, and this is what it's all about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to knot this up here and spray it, and then our wind chimes are complete. Oh, you're not gonna believe this. I was out there spraying with my Rust-Oleum Gloss Clear Cover 
and my piece ran. I don't know why. It Look at this, it ran in here. It ran in different areas, uh, not there, but it ran in different areas. So I decided that the piece, the wind chime needed some color, haha. <laughs> okay, so to prevent this from happening to you and for me in the future, give your wind chime, your project, a light coat at the beginning, just kind of a little short burst to get it covered and then go over it with another second light coat. I think I was a little too heavy handed. Um, it was going to start to rain and I wanted to get it done before the rain set in. Well, it's pouring out now and that really did me a lot of good. So I'm back to my drawing table here at back in the studio and I'm just going to give this some paint. And this is how we fix things, friends, because you know what? Things happen. I'm an artist. You're an artist. You're trying to create. I'm trying to create. And you run into road bumps, little hiccups. They're not obstacles. They're just little hiccups. And this is how we handle things. And this is how we blossom as creators. Thank you so much for joining me today for our wind chime project. Have an amazing day.